Thank you very much, gentlemen. Great cast on the day, as always. Going to get a quick interview here with Bunny Fufu before we throw the analyst desk to close out the day. A victory coming up for you guys. It played out very well. Coming into the summer split, though, you lost Cop in the bottom lane. You now have all tech. How's that synergy kind of working out, and what it's, what's it like to kind of lose Cop and what you guys had down there? Um, it's nice because we actually still have Cop. He's there, like, every step of the way, and all of us are friends, so he helps us, like, after every game. He'll just, like, help us watch over the lane, the late game, everything. And Alltech, I've been friends with him for a while, too, so it's, the whole change is, like, really good, I feel. Right on. And also a, another new member to the team, Move is there. Sometimes kind of getting you guys into trouble, but also making those plays in the end of the game. How are you liking that synergy? Um, still working on the communication part. First time ever being, like, hearing some Korean mid-game, so that's a little different. But I feel like in the long run, we'll definitely get it patented down and going good. Try to get those few words that he can just use for you guys and get the easy plays in. Where well, you guys came out very strong in this game, picking up the win, but Cloud9 and Team Liquid next week, it's definitely not going to be an easy week. How's the prep going to go and how are you feeling about those games? Uh, we actually feel like we slightly underperformed this we weekend, so hopefully next weekend we can have a better showing. All right, Bunny Fufu, thanks, man, very much. Congratulations on the win, and we're going to throw it to the analyst desk to break down the rest of the day's games. Thank you, Riv. As he mentioned, they feel they slightly underperformed Bunny Fufu, that is. I have to say I feel the same. This weekend, you know, a tough loss for them yesterday, but sloppy nonetheless. And same thing here. Even in the win, it w wasn't necessarily a uh, as methodical as uh, the TSM victory in the game prior. It's one of those games where the team that won wasn't one step ahead. They were one throw behind. Because there were parts where it's like, oh, I didn't Alistar ulti, and I died, and then now I have to give up this pressure point. Oh, I mispositioned here, I got Malphite ulti blown up. So definitely a very sloppy game, and they have a lot of things they can tighten up. And like they said, communication and working with move more and more, and the fact that they have cop to like facilitate the bottom lane relationships and stuff like that, this team's just going to hopefully get better for their sake. Yeah, this is a team that went through a lot of changes. A bunch of teenagers, yeah. <laughs> they, subbed out to, they subbed out a couple players that were very important, you know, the veteran players, um, and not really convinced by move yet. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Any guy that picks Lee Sin when you have your pick of any jungle champions, like Rek'Sai's still up and everything, uh, yeah, absolutely. I think, and speaking to the changes that they made, though, uh, bringing Alltech in, I do feel that he's been performing pretty well. And in this game as well, was kind of the rock for them on Jinx. That consistent high threat damage there with enormous CS through, you know, through the middle and late game. It, we saw, you know, essentially if he didn't go down within the first few seconds of a fight, that was their ability to win. Yeah, he's, he, had, he's he, had really quick flashes, quick spell shields. Uh, his reaction time is really good, basically. I like this uh, one versus one there with the flame choppers. Immediate reaction, very accurate as well. So, yeah, good things from Alltech so far. Yeah, and I like his positioning, too. Yesterday, he, when he was playing Sivir, just, I guess, kind of auto-spacing with the Sivir, <laughs> using his ultimate and just being able to skirt around the fight. He was basically the shining light of this team, both games that we saw him. And he had great score lines both times, great CS scores. Now, right now, it's like, is Gravity going to have to play more around their AD carry than they're used to mm -hmm. because they had caught before and he's more of a passive guy? I don't know. It's going to have to, like, shore up and see over the couple of weeks. Not entirely convinced by the mid mal fight. Although the laning phase seemed to go all right, the underwhelming burst coming from the mal fight was, you know, left something to be desired in that, like, DFG. okay, he blew all of his spells and now he's just a giant rock running around in the team fight. Oh, that one fight where he just blew up Bishu was like, well, he did his job. DFG, though. I think you got your the nail on the head right there with DFG. That was a component that yes. really made AP Malphite fun and actually be able to 100% people. Now, as they kept saying, you know, he needs a little assistant to come around for that little extra oomph. Yeah. And, and you know, if he doesn't, you know, grab somebody, he doesn't have somebody immediately capitalize. It's a shotgun with only one shell. And then you're left there just trying to beat him with a stick, basically. Yeah, so not, it's not kind of like, a, it's like a front-loaded muzzle gun where you're just like, oh, got the bullet in there, boom. Oh, oh, oh wait. All right, let's get it back down <laughs> wait, there. A wait very a long, A very yeah. long way. Yeah, so, so not really convinced there, there but there. I, it's, it's good to see them trying new things. Now, over on the side of TDK, I do have to say, it is nice to have seen Seraph, and it was mentioned in game, being a very different Seraph from when we saw him play on CLG. He has now won both of his lanes so far this weekend. This guy is playing with a lot more confidence. He is not afraid to fight. It looks like uh, this could be a great split for him as an individual, and when we see the rest of the roster arrive, 
maybe this team, you know, has an upward swing. Makes me really sad that they don't have all of their starting players that in, you know, management didn't get the paperwork or whatever to have everybody here at the beginning. Because, yeah, you're right. The components that are going to stay on this team, um, they've been showing good signs. Yeah, I want them in as soon as possible. And I know TDK does, too. <laughs> because as soon as they get in, they're still going to need weeks like this where they're going to fall short. And then by week four, we're like, all right, the season is almost halfway done. And your team is just now getting together and not just now working together. So that's something that TDK, they are going to have to try to make like a mid-season surge and synergize very quickly. So that's a task they're going to have to be up to. All right. Well, with that game, week one is in the books. So let's see how the teams are lined up. Sharing first place, it's Counter Logic Gaming and Team Liquid at the top of the table. Then we've got the majority of the league tied for third each with one win and one loss. And tied for ninth place are Team Dragon Knights and Team 8 with only two losses. Now, from a field of excellent performances, though, we've pulled together five players who stood out in their positions. Let's start in the top lane with Quas. And Quas opened up the game for his team yesterday and today. Those great choke point rumble ultimates, as well as the gnar ultimates yesterday, really just gave Liquid the advantage they needed and snowballed the games. And the rumble ultimate was a slingshot and a rubber band from a deficit. All right, and then we move into the jungle and we find Dignitas's Azingi. Speaking of slingshots, this guy really stepped up for the squad today. He had a huge, huge Zac game, basically took over the entire game versus CLG. Uh, and you really have to give him props uh, for his performance today. Absolutely well played there by him. Our OP mid laner this week is Pobelter. Now, the newest addition to CLG looks to be working out, only dying twice all weekend for a 16.5 KDA and leading his team to a share of first place. And then, of course, dominating the bot lane as AD carry is his teammate, Doublelift. Yeah, Doublelift currently leads the kills for week one here, but also his Ash Arrows opened up a game where the team wasn't able to find an advantage off of a lane swap. So he created advantages for his team, and then today got turrets down bottom, split pushed, and did a really good job of opening up the map for his team. And finally, in that support role, we have X Special. Yeah, TSM support, the all-star support, really able to pull them back, get the win today for our, uh, TSM to go one and one on the week. Liquid. Used to be TSM. Ah, ah, <laughs> stuck, we keep mentioning it. Ah, we stuck in the past. Because they went 2-0. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. That's right. uh, Team Liquid undefeated this week. Yeah, good job, Special. Yeah, <laughs> not coming back had, from that one. That's a pretty <laughs> stellar two teams, actually. Because Azingi's win was also against, against Cloud9, Cloud9. Not CLG. <laughs> I let that one slide. <laughs> All right, well, at the end of the day, one player stood out and claimed our most valuable player honor. For week one, it is Quas. He helped carry his team with two great games to finish with a perfect 2-0 start to the split. Now, yesterday in particular, he was instrumental in helping his team come back with a couple of huge gnar ults, as you see here. Yeah, I already talked about it, so I'll let Kobe redeem himself a little bit. He's on Liquid, by the way. <laughs> Which teams are playing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but in all seriousness, Quas did play very well. You know, was it, was and is that rock for this team that we seem to always go back to whenever we do look at Liquid having some trouble. And coming off of MSI, top laners that can carry their team seem to be very important, and Quas is stepping up as that. And after week one, I want to see more players in the top lane step up and carry their team to victory because I think it's a great formula for success in the meta. All right, well, that's just about going to do it for us. The action kicks off next week with a totally suitable for work episode of Primetime League Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Then the LCS returns starting in Europe with Elements versus Giants Gaming. After that, first place Fnatic takes on Rokat. Then we'll bring the action back here to North America on Saturday with another full day of matches, beginning with enemy esports battling Team Liquid, followed by Cloud9 versus Gravity. And we'll conclude the day with Team Dignitas versus Team Dragon Knights. Tune in for that starting at noon Pacific Daylight Time, 9 p.m. Central European Summertime. All right, that's our show. So for myself, the casters, and the entire live broadcast crew, thank you for watching and good night. Second day of the summer split here in the North American LCS, and we are ready for the first game of the day. Maple Street not doing too much damage. Looks like Liquid can re-enter this fight oh. perfectly, and they're gonna start me melting down Team 8 here, and Team Liquid take down Team 8. They feel like if it's getting stolen, he doesn't have enough protection in the mid lane, and it's gonna be right, it can't be a surprise. Oh, the hugs. I'm looking at Elsar. Oh. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. There's Eve, there's Eve. Back yeah, up, back up, back up, back up. Hold me, hold me, I know, yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I going Elsar right now? Okay. Yep. 
Alistar. Head back, head back. Head, 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 head. Stay together, stay I'm together. Holding. On the tanks. Keep kiting back. Eve, 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 Eve. I'll get him, Eve. I'll, I'll get him, I'll get him. I'll get him. Okay, can we go Baron? Can we go Baron? Counter logic gaming walk away from week one. 2-0. What's a good song, guys? Uh, about a week ago. Started from the bottom, now we're here. <clears throat> oh wait, no, yeah, we can do that one. Start from the bottom, now we're here. I'll do the beat. Centaur <laughs> <laughs> takes away the drag, but the battle has begun. Find that Adiris into the back lane goes. Players are going to get stunned up though, and Vic was going to have a field day on this one. The TSM will find their first win of the split. One. He looks for number two, tried the knockdown. Keen moves still around though and gets the Nexus. GG for Gravity.